Unfortunately, the way the world is today, cybersecurity is very, very reactive. And this is one of the largest issues that we have in the industry right now. After someone's been attacked, that's when they're starting to look for issues and vulnerabilities. That's often far too late. And so by having something like Uncloak, what it allows, it allows a business, regardless of their size, to get access to cybersecurity cover immediately. And the, what's so unique about our application is not only do we tell you about where the issues are today, our system's able to go out onto the internet and dark web and tell you about where the issues are tomorrow, or tomorrow which is really pretty, pretty groundbreaking. So for example, the UK hospitals, 54% of UK hospitals got hit by the WannaCry, which was a way, which is a piece of ransomware, piece of software that required people to make a payment in Bitcoin or they would end up losing their data. And a huge number of hospitals got hit. If our solution was used, we would have been able to, to deter that, which is, is, which is quite, quite amazing. And what's so different is that if you look at the size of the market itself when it comes to cybersecurity, the, the market's grown over four times the amount since 2017. And this is not just because of compliance requirements, say we have issues around GDPR, which everyone knows about general data to protection regulation, where companies can get fined up to 4% off their turnover if a breach is found and not reported within 72 hours. So by using solutions like Uncloak, we are really about prevention is better than cure. If we can help deter and remove the issues that companies can potentially have, regardless of their size, at a very, very early stage, it means that companies can become a lot more efficient less likely to, to have issues around, uh, reduce their risk, which is really, really amazing, and also increase the revenues if they know that they're, they're, they're not having to spend so much into cybersecurity, which they could obviously be using for marketing or developing their own solutions. So um, the way that our system works is that a client can sign up to our application, and they obviously will sign through a smart contract, which then means that they have access to the platform, which then allows them to perform scans against their network, which will look for issues like, you know, poor passwords or if the website's incorrectly configured or if they you know their software is out of date. And these are the type of, some of the type of low level issues that we would find and produce a report around that. One of the things that we also do is that we work with a community of hackers and ethical hackers that are out around the world globally um, that give them the opportunity for them to find new threats and new vulnerabilities and software, weaknesses in software. And by that, we can actually pay them effectively for finding new issues. And the way that we use a blockchain is that, as it's a decentralized system, we can allow users to be able to, which are the hackers, to be able to vet and judge each other's work before someone gets paid for that piece of work. So this is really effective for us. Um, cybersecurity is inherently very expensive for organizations. And so for you'll find that usually the largest businesses that have compliance requirements around FCA, Sarbanes, Oxley, or what, what other forms of compliance, ISO 27001, they have requirements around security and obviously they can afford to pay for it. But the smaller businesses, and these are, there's four, for example, in the UK alone, there's over 4.1 million companies in the UK that do not have adequate cybersecurity because of the size that they have. Um, but companies are starting to take it a lot more seriously. So by using Uncloak, what we are doing is allowing a company to get access to, in essence, a virtual cybersecurity consultant that's able to tell them where the issues are, how to fix those issues. And if they can't fix those issues them themselves, within Uncloak, we have a, a solution that works with third parties that are vetted on our system, and they will fix the issues on behalf of you. And we obviously will check that system that the issue has been resolved and fixed and on the blockchain we're able to literally pay the, 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 work, the workers that are finding those issues and consultants that are finding issues out there. So it's really quite innovative. And there's no requirement for a third party, you know, highly expensive cybersecurity consultant to come in and work with some of the, the businesses where our solution can actually definitely fit that and fill that gap. So what we found really is that with our solution with Uncloak, not only it's not a centralized system, so we're not just heading, looking after one particular market, we have a whole bunch of consultants. We, our system's decentralized where we can actually grow this thing globally, which is really pretty amazing. So, and we have economies of scale, literally as our system grows, we can actually obviously pass some of the savings on to the end customers, which is reason, one of the reasons why we use a blockchain, that we can make it as cost efficient for companies and we can also work with the unbanked ha hackers that are out there that are trying to find ways in which they can make money legally by using Uncloak and this is really what's pretty effective right now. Yes, yeah, so, so we're currently in the process of um, going through an ICO which we're looking to do in uh, Q1 2019 um, due to current market conditions but the reason why we're using the ICO as a model because we found it's one of the, 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 the most effective ways in which we can actually do some fundraising to get our application off the ground. 
Um, and also it's a way that we can really involve the community that have a big interest in what we want to do rather than having to go through some of the technical hurdles that are currently out there when it comes to raising funds compared to, for example, crowdfunding or if you're going down the FCA, uh, an equity raise route, which is a lot more difficult and there's a lot more paperwork that's required. But going down the ICL route allows a company such as ours to be able to get access to the funds that we can actually help build out our software increase the community um, awareness that we have around our application and also get that first mover advantage which means that we have something extremely compelling that we can get out of there as quickly as possible because we know that we'll have the funds there from our, our, the raise that we effectively will be doing in Q1. So we're really excited and we believe the ICO model uh, and it's been obviously under, under a lot of scrutiny due to the fact that there's been a lot of fraudulent uses of it but the fact of the matter is it's still a very extremely and very powerful model in which to raise funds if you if you have a compelling business idea as we do in Unclo. Things that we do is that our token's already been legally written as a uh, utility token which basically means that if you want to get access to use Uncloak for your business you would need to purchase tokens which obviously you'll pay through through fiat uh, on our website which is very very effective so it allows a, a, a client to be able to sign up purchase tokens, get access to our platform, and also allows them to also trade those tokens as well uh, on the open exchange, which is great. So they can actually make money both ways as well and effectively have access to uh, you know, a cutting edge cybersecurity service in Unclog.